Hey everyone, amidst all the chaos, let's take a break from the noise and dive into the world of video editing. In our previous video, we explored using Magic Mask to edit the background without altering the foreground. Today, we are stepping it up a notch by introducing new notes that allows us to tweak the background and the foreground separately without any interference. But let's explore the power of these notes and enhance our video editing skills together. Bitmap map control and that map are the nodes that we are exploring today so let's dive into the computer and let's get started so we are going to transform this clip from this to this let's head to the video as you notice i have two different colors and one seems to be at the background and one seems to be at the foreground so what that means we have two different colors and we are affecting two different places again background foreground we are going to use the depth map to select where each color is being affected so let's bring in the first depth map hit shift space bar and we are going to look for depth map make sure not to select that blur but the depth map all right so we're going to add again we need two so we are going to copy and we are going to paste we are going to use the same background to connect to the second depth map so one is going to be for the background like i said before and one for the foreground the one on top let's use it for the background so let's put them here to the preview and this is what is going to look like the lighter area here is the foreground and the darker area is the background so i'm going to invert this I selected the second one, so I'm going to select the first one and do the same. We are going to invert this. So now the darker area is the foreground and the lighter area is the background. So the effect is probably going to happen on the lighter area. What I'm going to do now is to bring down the color corrector. And I'm also going to connect the media in to the background of the color corrector. So we are going to put the color corrector on the screen. So nothing happens because the color corrector is right in the middle. So now if I collect the color right now, the entire image is being corrected. I could put the depth map as a mask to the color corrector, but guess what? Nothing is going to happen. All right. We need another app to translate those depths to the color corrector. So this is where we need bitmap. So we are going to bring in the bitmap to the depth map, but we are going to connect it to the background of the bitmap. And we are going to select bitmap and we are going to select luminance. Okay, so we are dealing with color. So we want the color to illuminate. So bitmap becomes the luminance of the alpha channel. And we are going to connect the alpha channel now to the effect max or right, if this happens you could simply hold the option key and drag this down and just select the effect max now you could see that color is now only affecting the background further away so we could go to depth map and we could adjust the map here if we would like okay so let's do just a little bit of an adjustment here to the map okay to fit our taste so let's put the near limit to around let's say 0.6 something okay yeah this is okay you're gonna have to use your eyes to gauge what you want all right the file limit ah zero is fine zero is fine zero is fine that's it we've changed the background so the other one we are going to do the same we need another uh color corrector so we're going to put corrector right here in the middle and we're going to put it back here so it's going to take us to the original clip because you know this color corrector is before the one that we just edited let's pick a different color for this one uh let's say we pick something like this okay like is it reddish whatever all right and we're going to do the same thing we're going to uh, bring down a bitmap if, if you'd like you could copy this one right here copy and we could paste it here and we could connect the background to the bitmap and we connect to the effect mask and it have the same kind of effects to it now you could go and uncheck the invert to do the opposite effect this is fine too this is actually a better option but why make it easy 
everything cannot be that easy right so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to adjust map and we're simply not going to adjust this far limit to like around 165 or so 167 that's fine and the limit we're going to leave it as one what happened is the color pushes out to the foreground i did it that way for a particular reason because i also want to demonstrate what matte control can do here if I go back to this node right here, everything is looking good. Like the background is looking good. But unfortunately, if you look at my face, you could see that the red color is pouring into my face because remember, I'm the foreground. Okay, so let's make this a bit more blue. Okay, yeah, this is better. So this is where math control comes in play. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the bitmap. But before that, if I put the math that I need, Okay, I'm going to put this max here and I'm going to put this max here because I do not want this side of my face to be affected and let's also select the hands as well so let's say this side of my face and this side of my body I don't want this side of my body to have that red color that's why I'm going to use this eclipse to select the area that I don't want the redness to be there okay so I'm going to put this bitmap to my control as a background and I'm going to now put this as an effect to the color corrector but i'm going to put this eclipse to the my control effect mask then select control map and i'm going to reduce the threshold to around 0 0.5 halfway so we are basically just playing around with the threshold there is no right answers you just have to use your eyes to gauge the outcome and also the lows usually mean the darker areas while the high usually mean the lighter areas and also i'm going to be changing the colors because this color might be a little bit close to my skin color basically what i'm saying you're gonna have to play around with these controls in order to find the exact outcome that you desire as you can see i have changed the colors and i've also moved the threshold lows to about 8.44 now you could clearly see the eclipse line but we got a remedy for that what you have to do now is to soften the edges to blend in the colors you can make it a lot softer to blend those orange colors so now you could have something like this oh that color might be a bit too much this is the color just a little bit okay and there you go you have something that looks like you have different colors in your background and in your foreground so let's move on to the next example we are going to use the same clip from the first example we are going to be going from this to this okay so as you can see this is just an edge detect that we use rays to have an effect with but as you can see my face also have edges like my eye have edges my face have edges but i didn't want my face to have those rays so as you can see i do not have those rays in my face what we're gonna do is to explain how i got there so i use the filter to get my edges detected in my video all right let's just forget about these right now if we connect my video straight to the filter it's gonna detect the edges of my video but if you look at my face here you can see that the glow also is affecting my eyes you know, my eyebrows my mouth and i didn't want it so i'm also going to take this same eclipse that i use for the mic control i'm going to use it on the filter as you can see it just won't work but just like the first video we got a remedy for this all right so what we're going to do is we are going to connect the media in to a bitmap and we're going to connect the bitmap to a mic control and then we're going to control the mic control to the filter it's the same thing right but remember to change the bitmap channel to luminance and we have played around with the threshold lows and highs to get to this point if i decrease this as you can see the darker areas begin to have more rays but if we increase this the dark areas start to have less rays the same thing as the highs okay so if i increase this the highs begin to like have less rays but if i decrease this you can see more more and more and more so it depends on how intense you want it i don't want my face to have those rays like that so what i do is i put the eclipse to a garbage mask apply to the white arrow 
or hold an option key while applying to select the garbage mask. Now, if you look at my face, the gloss is gone. Well, I put the, the mask right here to my face to remove those rays, all right? And I blurred the soft edges. Because if not, it's okay, but what's gonna happen is it's gonna have a sharp distinction between where the mask is and where the mask is not. So we're gonna have to increase the soft edges to blend in the two parts. That's why we need mask control. So as you can see, the mask control works so much better with stuff like this. It is just an extra tip for you, just in case you wanna do something like this. Now you know how to, all right? So ladies and gentlemen, if you learned something, hit that like button. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you on the next video.